Hi, I'm Timothy from Dolls and Sense. You guys may have seen me on some of the Dolls and Sense tonight show, but today I'm going to be doing something totally new, totally different from what I usually do, and that's to learn how to bake, to rope in someone to help me. I have Chef Kuji. Hey, hi everybody, I'm Chef Kuji. So I'll be helping Timothy today with his baking. I think the interesting thing about both baking and investing is that they share some similarities. We need to learn how to manage our risk. We need to learn how to plan ahead. We need to have a plan. So I think just by me learning how to bake today, I'll be able to share Kuji a lot of interesting insights about how to invest as well. But what we are making today is actually passion fruit, uh, chocolate ganache, macarons. Uh, firstly, you put this egg white to this into it until a paste. Okay, so, so I just... you use the spatula to ah. mix to a paste. So we'll add some color. We, we actually need to start to whisk up a bit of the egg white first. So now the texture is right, so it doesn't wow. fall. This is just out of curiosity, how much, you know, is this considered a large volume or is This is like way maybe you know, 20 times lesser than the production volume. Just like if you're learning how to invest or trade, you want to start with a smaller quantity, better to just put in a bit of money when you are starting off, yes. get some experience, than to start with a large uh, amount of money. Now you take a small amount, the rest of the we see like if it is shiny yes okay, so then it's okay. one of the things that i realized um i mean it looks easy because we have all the ingredients in front of us but actually um i think chef Kuji was taking about like half an hour before this just to prepare all the ingredients always going to be important for us to actually plan ahead on what we need and sure that you know just like how we pick just now like everything is in front of us and, and then we can just you know mix them all together quickly and effectively just let that end it <laughs> oh gosh you need to it press like, right a, like a one time so just like that press and turn oh okay okay Here. okay no no <laughs> it's a bit more difficult than it looks and, and as you can see, you know, even though we have a lot more um, paste left, we are not going to bake all of it at one shot. It's similar to investing or trading, like no matter how confident you might be as an investor or, or a trader or a, mm -hmm. a specific trade, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket, don't put all your money into, this, into one trade, you know. We will bake the first batter first, so to make sure the oven bakes out the right texture that we want is his first attempt and okay, it actually turned out quite Nothing nice. Yeah. It feels like there's a good sense of accomplishment, yes. uh, even though I got a lot of help here. Yeah. So what are we going to do next, uh, Kuji? So what we are going to do now is a dark chocolate mousse cake. So now you have to whisk up the cream. Okay. So while the, the milk is boiling to melt the chocolate, you can whisk this to prep first. Half of the milk to the chocolate, the other part to the gelatin. So is there anything that can go wrong with me doing this? Uh, this one is not so much. <laughs> so you just need to make sure until the... <laughs> As I drop the bowl. <laughs> Okay. So now you need to pour the the chocolate mixture to the cream. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So what's next? So now you're going to fill the chocolate mousse inside a mold. So you fill the mousse maybe around like that. Mm -hmm. So this one we will send it to the freezer to freeze. It takes like around 2 to 3 hours. So this is how it looks like actually after freezing it for like 3 hours and we unmold it from the mold. So now we'll do the glazing part. Oh so wow. So now we got a shiny chocolate mousse. Oh it looks really good. Just scrape the top a little bit. Well, so this is the chocolate mousse cake. I, I can't wait to try it. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be really good. As I observe, as I get my hands a bit dirty to try out uh, baking a little bit, I realized that the more you do, the more comfortable you are. We, we tend to get better as we try more. I think the key thing here is like, you know, uh, start small, uh, have a mentor if you yes. have access to one. And for those of you back at home, I uh, hope you have a, a little bit more tips on like investing or trading, whichever you are intending to uh, start out with. And uh, if you want to follow Kuji, uh, follow her on Instagram somewhere down here. Uh, follow her, she has some really great uh, recipes, some really great creation. And I'm sure that for those of you who are baking, you guys will enjoy it as well. Thank you once again. Thank you.
both of these activities require you to, to try it out a little bit. As much as you can read, you know, as many recipe books or articles about baking, you will never know how it is like to actually bake something unless you really try it. Same similarity applies to investing. So all those information are great. You want to have all those information, but you also want to get started. And I think when you get started, you want to refine your strategy as you gain more experience, as you learn more things along the way.